I'm Tom Trust. A bit worrying, this. I was reading recently how uh, there have been statements from within the European hierarchy uh, wishing there to be a pan-European school curriculum. I can't see what that's got to do with the original trading to believing was going to be the case for the uh, referendum back in the 70s but anyway that's beside the point Europe pan-european school curriculum can you imagine now I don't normally speculate in my videos I on factual things to do with being imagine what the history syllabus will be like how much of the rise of Nazism would a European curriculum allow how much about the Second World War? How much about the Holocaust would be taught? Not to say that it wouldn't be taught. Here in the United Kingdom, in history syllabuses of, of the subject, uh, letting our children understand how evil human beings, how in a political vacuum, people like Hitler can and uh, I suppose there are one or two parallels between the big lie Hitler did so many good things he built the motorways the population didn't understand the military purposes he uh, brought about full employment again after a period of terrible deprivation in Europe caused in the main by the Treaty of Versailles the First World War but you see, to people who were suddenly re-employed, whether they were in armies, navies, air forces, supposedly not allowed, or whether they were in armaments factories, building planes, tanks that weren't allowed by the Treaty of Versailles, the German population at the time didn't understand that. They understood that suddenly times had become good. Gender that we all know about retrospectively. There are some parallels, some gentler parallels, uh, in biggest one being that it has largely been brought about by lies, Edward Heath, and deception. All the governments we've, we've had since the 1970s. Common curriculum. Uh, yet another way they want to interfere. We have to get out of the EU. The sooner the better.